So I just want to thank again County Executive Genius for being here and members of his administration and Chairman Romano and all of the freeholders. Welcome to Hoboken and we really, truly, truly appreciate um, you coming and, and having a hearing here. And I want to say up front that yes, we have, um, you know, I, I feel that I have a very good relationship with the county. You have always been there for us. You were there for us. Uh, tremendous support during Hurricane Sandy. You help us with, uh, you know, with plowing on our, our roads and, and during major snowstorms. Um, you help us every year with St. Patrick's Day, which has now become Leprechaun Day. I mean, it's a long list. We're very excited about 1600 Park and the traffic signal that's gone in and other traffic signals that are going in that are going to help alleviate the traffic in Hoboken. We, we recognize you're there for Hoboken, and I, I'm confident that you know, as I continue to ask for help for Hoboken, that, that help will be there. Um, but our, our concern um, and our challenge, I mean, as you all know, Hoboken was very hard hit by Hurricane Sandy. We were hard hit by Hurricane Irene. We continue to be hit. In fact, I was upstairs. I was late because I was doing a reverse 911 call because we're, unfortunately, probably going to be flooded tomorrow. So we are, you know, working, uh, Hoboken residents are, are suffering. I mean, we are doing well. I mean, and, you know, we've had uh, increase in rateables and, and interest in Hoboken, but at the same time, Hoboken residents, 80% of our city was flooded. The way the national flood insurance works, they're not getting the coverage. They're paying out of their pocket for these costs, and they're coming you know, again and again. And I'm saying that you know, we're struggling, and so we're asking um, the county to really just roll up your sleeves and take a good, hard look. You have a five, almost a $500 million budget, and we're asking you to see, can you save? And you find five million dollars in cuts, and you know I understand that there's issues uh, with the way the formula works. But the reality is, while the city's you know Hoboken's budget has gone down about ten percent over the last four years, the county's budget has gone up by about twenty percent. We've had four or five percent increases every year, and so we're just asking you to to think about you know the the, the challenges that Hoboken has faced. How difficult it has been, and, and right now with this proposed budget, we're looking at a 10% increase for Hoboken residents. And given everything that we've been through, we're just asking you to try to try as hard as you can to see if you can find five million dollars in cuts, one way or another. So thank you very much, and I'll just turn it over to Mayor Turner to say thank you, Mayor Turner. Thank you for the <laughs> And I'd like to also echo what Mayor Zimmer said. The county executive has been very helpful in this. The finance department we've met with them has been very helpful. You, uh, you had the uh, hearing in Sea Caucus last night. I thought it went great. It was very informative. Um, but there's a general consensus um, developing amongst the mayors. We're all getting hit from different directions, municipal budget, school budgets, um, county budget. This year, it's, it's the, the problem with the formula, and the formula should be looked at. And we're going to work with the county tax board administrator and our own, our own assessors to see if the formula should be adjusted. It's been in effect for 50 years without change. We think a few sales skew the formula, and then you get it's like Russian roulette. Every year you go in. This year was we hope and hope open and see folks. Next year it could be they own North Bergen, um, uh, hope open again. Hope open seems to be hit every year. Um, we understand that it's, it's, there's a lot of good news in this, but there's also a lot of bad news. Um, and 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 to back up what the county executive said, we don't want to, nobody wants a phony budget, but we do think there's some trimming that can take place. We've talked to other finance people; they think there's. Um, um, perhaps around a million dollars in the budget that could be trimmed um, relatively pain, painlessly. We've also talked about a hiring freeze um, from between now and December. You know, unless it's a critical position, put a hiring freeze in place. They believe that there could be some savings there. That would be in the neighborhood of two million dollars by itself. And then, you know, we don't know. You know, you've got a very complicated budget. You have a very tough time. There's nobody in this room that that, that fully can appreciate how much you all go for every year putting together a budget. And, 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 and as the county executive said, we do appreciate the services we get. But we, should, we can't make a divide between the rich towns and the poorer towns. Um, because again, this form, you never know. Got Bergen up one year, got Bergen down. Um, my, I was the highest ratio, as the county executive pointed out, they all of a sudden I dropped six points, but it's based on a relatively small number of sales. So these things should be looked at. We also uh, would like to, we had no thoughts of mayor's meeting today on other issues, but it came up. We'd like to work with the county executive on coming up with ideas to help streamline government, perhaps somebody, some people who have different ideas, um, and then work with the freehold board. So I think, I think it's just a sign of times. It's not going to get, you know, if we come out of this recession, we have some development taking place, tax abatements come in, everything comes in, everybody's trying to figure out how to avoid county taxes. 
And I think if we sit down collectively, we can come up with a lot of ideas um, um, and work with the county executive or work with the free all board. Um, but the first things we would recommend is trimming. You know, we're talking trimming, we're not talking cutting. And I got a call from my union leader last night. No one's talking about dealing with the person. No one's apparently was a thought out there that we're gonna, we want to rescind their raise. Nobody wants to rescind their raise. Nobody's talking about furloughs. No one's talking about the motions or layoffs or anything. But we do think there's some room to trim. And there's a lot of mayors that have not asked for these hearings that are, uh, you know, asking us to, you know, kind of take the lead with their other issues. So we appreciate all the efforts. Um, your your hearings are very informative, and we look forward to a very successful outcome. And again, I want to thank everybody, especially the finance department, they've been very helpful. They don't say yes a lot, but they've been very helpful. <laughs>